for you both as a player uh, and being part of his coaching staff, you've often called the great Marty Schadenheimer as fine and influential of a contributor as there's ever been in the National Football League. When you think about his greatness, whether it's it's one story that typifies him or just a description of of what makes him so uniquely amazing and spectacular, what would you say about Marty Schadenheimer? Uh, so glad you brought him up. Thank you for doing that because, you know, <laughs> I was talking this past weekend on the show and just talking about the mentors you have, the Eric Bannamies, whose mentor is, is Andy Reid, Leslie Frazier, whose mentor is Sean McDermott. These are, my mentor was Marty Schottenheimer. I was a reflection of him. And I always remember when I went to Pittsburgh and he gave me a chance to be, I mean, I go back, I played for Marty. And I remember the day, one day I went out there and I hurt my hand and practice, didn't miss a practice the next day. I taped it up and he said, you know what, Cowher, you're a tough guy. You're smart. Someday you're going to coach. I'm thinking, okay, he was a defensive coordinator. I got traded to the Eagles a couple years later. He became head coach. First thing he did was call me up. All right, you ready to coach? I'm going, okay, well, I mean, he says, what are you going to make next year? I said, I'm going to make like $150,000. He goes, I mean, this is 1984, and I was the cap, special teams captain of the Eagles. He goes, well, if you want to coach, you're going to come here. You're going to make three times as less and we'll work three times more. I go, okay. He goes, you're, I'll give you $50,000 to be a special teams coach. I said, okay. <laughs> he goes, let me know by tomorrow. I go, okay. So I was so much for negotiating that. <laughs> I said, okay. So but it was a no brainer. It really was. I love coaching and the coach for him was going to be the best thing that ever happened in my life. It was. And, and I coached for him. There four years in, in Cleveland. I went with him to Kansas City. When he went to Kansas City, he let me become a coordinator. I became the head coach in 92 at 34 years old. And the only coach I ever coached under um, was Marty Schoenheim. And, you know, I remember he was in Kansas City. We started talking about the third, I guess it was like 90, 95, 96. And he starts saying, hey, so let me ask you about your practices. I'm looking, I'm trying to tweak some things. You know, when did you do your, 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 your third down package? When did you do your blitz stuff? I go, coach, I go, I'm still using the same format. And I told him, I said, I went down and I go, well, we, we usually do this on Wednesday, do this on Thursday and Friday. He goes, ah, that's great. I'm going to do that. I go, coach, that's why I, I'm still doing the same thing I did when I was with you. This is still the same practice structure. He is always was tweaking things to the point where, you know, he, he came to me. And I said, I didn't know anything else. I wasn't tweaking anything. I figured if it was good enough for Marty, it was good enough for me. And my 15, 14, 15 years I was in Pittsburgh, we practiced the same way. We did meetings the same way, installation the same way, all the things I learned from him. And so it was just so funny when I told him what we were doing, he goes, oh, that's a great idea. Where'd you get that? I'm going, I got that from you. <laughs> so, you know, that's just the kind of guy he was. He was just, he was just a special, special, and is a special, special man.